Rebecca. My age, you know I've been to a lot of doctors. <laughs> Healthcare partners, they really care. They're concerned about your health. They're all the best. I am Roberta, and I am a healthcare partner. Visit hcpnv.com to hear my story. Today's news is brought to you in part by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. Welcome back to News 46. Dina Williamson Erdag hosted the League of Women Voters Queen's Tea, which was held Saturday night at Mountain Falls. The Queen's Tea is an event that we have every year, and the purpose is to recognize women within the Pahrump Valley who um, have done something large or small, but really done a positive thing for our community. And we call them women of distinction. We invite different organizations throughout the valley to uh, buy a table or individual seats, nominate someone. Everybody that's nominated is called out. We give them a lovely certificate and a declaration of things, the services that they did. Uh, we call it the Queen's Tea because we have it in June and we have it around the time of the Queen's birthday. Um, not that we are celebrating England, but yeah. uh, but we just have fun with that. Yes. We always have uh, somebody who pops in as a, a queen impersonator and Prince Philip impersonator. Women also, and men, also get oh. dressed up for this event. Yes, yeah. Um, women, the League of Women Voters is open to, even though it says women voters, it's open to membership to men and women, uh, anybody over the age of 18. Mm -hmm. And uh, the name came because the League was um, born out of the woman suffrage movement which gave women the right to vote. Um, we were just so ple uh, pleased to have um, hosted the state league. There are only four s leagues in the state of Nevada mm -hmm. and uh, we were able to host their state convention two weeks ago and the president that was elected for the League of Women Voters for the state of Nevada was a man, and it's a man from Pahrump, and that's Don Rust. We use the Queen's Tea as a membership drive, but we want it to be fun. We encourage men and women to come in hats and dress them up and, you know, get fancy and wear yeah. gloves. And um, so as part of that, we do a hats of distinction. Now we have the Victorian ladies who have these phenomenal yeah hats and but then just people have fun putting something together so we do uh, people's choice we let um, anybody who wants to um, uh, have uh, be a nominee for a hat of distinction we give them a number and we have people go around and say what's your number and write it on a ballot and then we tally those up and th uh, that is our hat of distinction What's coming up next for the League of Women Voters? Uh, we will be meeting. Our meetings are on the second Saturday of every month. We meet at in Stockman Steakhouse at um, the Pahrump Nugget. It's a morning meeting, uh, 9 a.m., and uh, breakfast optional. Our phone number is area code 775-443-7861. Um, we have a um, we don't have a website, but we you can email us at l w v o f p a h r u m p that's l w v league of women voters of Pahrump at aol com. The Pahrump Senior Center Meals on Wheels program received twenty five hundred dollars to help homebound seniors receive one meal per day delivered to their home. Several organizations came together at Inspiration Senior Living for a fundraiser called Calypso Night. Five weeks ago, uh, Wes Klauser and I had a, were meeting for lunch, and I said something about trying to do a fundraiser, and he said, Senior Center and Meals on Wheels. So with Wes Klauser from Comfort Hospice Care, Tyann James from uh, Nathan Adelson Hospice, and Megan Kowalski, I never remember her last name, from Desert View Hospital, we're all working together to put this event on, and it's all of the proceeds, all of it, will go towards the Senior Center's Meals on Wheels because they do need help. You guys kind of did this in an emergency situation yeah. because because of how their need. It, exactly. I didn't realize, and I'm on the phone frequently with Ann, but I didn't know that this was going on, and it just happened to be that it, 
Wes had just met with Ann and they were talking about it and when he and I met and I mentioned wanting to do a fundraiser, that's how this came about and we knew we had to do it quickly. There's, they've got 30 people on a waiting list. 30. That means there are 30 seniors that are not getting, homebound seniors that are not getting meals that they should be getting. So that's horrible. Meals on Wheels program has grown so much in the last six to eight months that we just needed a little boost, I guess you would call it. And Tanya from Inspirations here and um, Tyann with Nathan Adelson Hospice and Wes with Comfort uh, Hospice and Megan with the Desert View Hospital all got together and decided let's do a fundraiser for this program and here we are and it's absolutely phenomenal. It's really turning out well. We're really happy. It's a lot of fun here too as well having a Calypso theme. But there's so many good things that the Senior Center does including feeding the seniors every single day. But the Meals on Wheels is important because of why? Well, because the folks that get our Meals on Wheels program are homebound seniors. These are seniors who can't get out of the house, can't come to the Senior Center, can't interact with the other seniors. They have, they're, they're basically stuck at home all the time. And this gives them a me seven meals a week, one meal per day. When we make them at the center, we freeze them, and then we deliver them one, week, one day a week, seven meals each. And we have about 110 people right now we're delivering to, and we have a waiting list that sets about 20 to 21 right now, and this is what this is for, is to hopefully get those people off that waiting list and into the, in the food into their homes. Can the regular public donate? Absolutely. Anybody that would love to donate to the program, we would be happy to have any help we could get. It's always a help, you know, anything that we get. So they can get in touch with the Senior Center directly? Absolutely. It's 727 5008 9 to 3 30, Monday through Friday. And once again, that donate number for the Prump Senior Center is 727 5008. You know, that place is like a cruise ship on land. Isn't it great? It has so many things for senior living it does. a whole list of them the thing is, is that they're also hosting a lot of events there now and it's just appropriate completely they have the media room where you they kind of have an in-house theater there a gourmet kitchen a which is open room. 24 hours a day i must say oh i know yeah. so if they want a snack in the middle of the night they just go get yeah. it they have gourmet coffee yep everything you can think of like i said it's like it's like a cruise ship on land who That's wouldn't want to live there and retire there exactly public dining room private dining room even a little store there and the thing is is that it goes from all the way to independent living to assisted living to people who are suffering from dementia all different levels mm -hmm. it's amazing it is amazing there most definitely well everybody here's Angela Miles with first business brief this is the first business brief for Monday, June 24th. I'm Angela Miles. Americans are still playing catch up with their savings accounts. Nearly five years after the recession, fewer than one in four Americans have adequate emergency savings. 27% have zero. According to Bankrate.com, the biggest hindrance is stagnant wages. Encouraging news is coming from the labor sector. For the first time in nearly five years, unemployment has dipped below 9% in the state of California. In May, the Golden State logged in a rate of 8.6%. California and West Virginia had the steepest declines in unemployment during the past 12 months. States with the current highest rates are Nevada, Illinois, Mississippi, Rhode Island, and North Carolina. Starting tomorrow, Starbucks is raising prices on some of its coffee drinks as much as a dime. It's been about two years since prices have gone up. The hike is despite falling costs on coffee beans. That's the First Business Brief. I'm Angela Miles. And when we come back from this break, we'll have Ian B. Clark with your weather. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump, local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Welcome back. New week in somewhat unusual weather. Partly cloudy skies today, 90 for your high. When it's supposed to be up in like around 101. Winds somewhat windy today. South-southwest is 16, gusts at 24. Very high humidity, 19%, 528 a.m. sunrise, and a record high of 113 degrees in 1961. What we're going to have tonight, partly cloudy skies still. 
low 68, winds somewhat calming down, 30% humidity. That sounds like winter humidity right there instead of summer. Sunset, 8.05 p.m. and the record low, 56 degrees, 1963. And Tuesday, sunny skies is going to clear up. High going up a little bit there, 96 for your high, 72 for your low. Winds calm, 23% humidity, so a little bit carrying over. Sunrise staying the same as well as UV index staying the same. Our seven-day forecast looks like after Tuesday, we're just going to be 100 degree temperatures where we really should be. So it's going to be hot after that, and it looks like our lows are going to stay around the mid to upper 70s. Thank you so much, Ian. And that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Rhonda Van Winkle. From everyone up here on the Hill, have a wonderful night. Good night.